240 meters of fencing is used to form two adjacent rectangular enclosures next to a wall. Now this is a wall and these are the two rectangular enclosures. Find the values, find the value of x and y so that the combined combined area of the two enclosures is maximum. Okay, so this is a question of maximization. So yeah, uh, we have 240 meters of fencing wire. Okay, and we want to use that wire to make these two enclosures. So well, we can say we're going to use fencing in these brown lines. So this is a wall, we are not going to use fencing here. So we can say, well, the total fencing that is used is in this x, 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 y, and y. So we can say 3x plus 2y, 3x plus 2y should be uh, 240. You add the three x's, that is 3x and the two y's is equal to 240 because that's what you have got for fencing. So I'm going to divide the whole thing by uh, the whole thing by two, 2. So let me divide the whole thing by 2. If I divide this by 2, you can divide this by 2 and also this by 2. Okay, so this becomes, this implies, this is 1.5x plus y is equal to 120. Okay, which implies I'm going to write y in terms of x. So y is equal to 120 minus uh, 1.5x. Okay, so this is y in terms of x. So the question is we want to maximize the area. Our aim is to maximize the combined area. So I'm writing a for area. So let me use a different color. A would be the area of this is xy length times width times xy so it is 2xy area is nothing but 2xy okay because this area is xy and this area is also xy so you've got two lots of xy so the total area is 2xy so a in terms of x would be 2x times y y we already know in terms of x which is 120 minus 1.5x okay so expanding this so a is what 2x times 120 is 240x 2x times minus 2 times minus sorry 2 times 1.5 is 3 and x times x is x squared so area in terms of x is 240x minus 3x squared now we want to maximize it so we have to differentiate this so we'll say well what is da by dx we're differentiating a with respect to x so the differentiation of 240 x is 240 minus drop the power down minus 6x okay for maximum or minimum of course here the question is for maximum for maximum we know that da by dx the derivative is zero which implies you can say 240 minus 6x is equal to zero okay now adding 6x to both sides we can say 240 is equal to 6x so dividing both sides by 6 x is equal to 240 divided by 6 240 divided by 6 is 40 so x is 40 so x is 40. Okay, so we can say we have got already got this equation. Y is 120 minus 1.5x. Okay, so we know, let me change color. Y is 120 minus 1.5x. Okay, so which is 120 minus 1.5 times 40. Okay. So this is, I don't want to use a calculator, so this is 120, so this is 15 out of 10 times 40. So the zeros gets cancelled, so this is equal to 120 minus 60, so your y is 60. So you can see your x is 40 meters, x is 40 meters, and your y is 60 meters. So 
with this you'll get the maximum area so let's understand this in a graphical way okay and confirm whether the answer is right so what we are saying is area in terms of x is this so let me get my calculator out so the equation of area in terms of x is uh, so let us go to table and uh, type in the equation is equation is area in terms of x is 240x minus 3x squared. So this is your y and this is your x. So I'll write 240x minus 3x squared. Okay, now let us go to set from 0 to 80. Step of 5. Okay, and see what the table gives me. Table. So when x is 0, you can understand the area is 0. As x increases, okay, so let me also turn the derivative on. Okay, derivative is on, and then go to table. So let's only look at x and y. So this is x, and this is your area. So when x is 0, you can understand the area is 0. So when as this x increases, the area increases. So now this is increasing, still increasing. When it comes to 40, you got an area of 4,800, and then you got a derivative of zero. That's why we set this equal to zero. And when you increase, if when you go over 40, the area will decrease. Okay, it's 50. Uh, sorry, 4,500. It's decreasing. So we know when we know the x and y value. So let us understand. Go to graph and draw it. So we already have the equation sitting there. I went to table so that I wanted to know the values of x and y. So I'll go from 0 to 80. And step of 5. And I'll go from 0 to 4,000. Okay, or I'll go up to 5,000. Step of 500. Okay, that would do. And this is your, this is the, on x-axis, you're taken x, and y-axis you're taken a. So you go G solve and maximum. So can you see when X is 40, you get the maximum area of 4,800. Then your derivative is zero. Okay. So that's how you can use calculus to find the maximum or minimum.